Okay, so, as far as I know, I'm live. Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is my first live stream, and uh, as you know, this is uh, my ALF collection. Uh, so I'm going to see however many people come here, and uh, it's also a Q&A as well. I'm hoping some people would chat here with me, maybe. I don't know really how this thing works, but we'll see. So I guess I'll... Uh, I'll start uh, the collection here with uh, with this. Obviously, you've seen this before. This is just uh, the glove that uh, I wore in that one video uh, promoting the live stream. Uh, I made that really uh, out of fabric and such. And I had two of them. I lost the other one. So... You know, that's that. Alright. Oh, somebody or others watching. I don't know who, but somebody is. Oh, and somebody liked it. Oh, yeah, that's good. I really don't know. And somebody else is watching too. It's probably Guntik in a... Oh, three people. Oh, interesting. I don't know how to check this. Top chat. Some messages might... All messages are visible. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello there, Goontick. How are you doing? <laughs> hello, Ahab. I don't know who's who. I know that uh, Goontick has his uh, his profile, but uh, I don't know if Ahab uses his primary channel as him. I don't know whether... Because $10 Slimer is the first thing ever. Or I guess the first thing that I know, but I don't know who speaks primarily. It's either Goontick or Ahab, but anyway. So, uh, you've just seen the glove, uh, which is... Uh, <sighs> right here and I'm gonna go for as long as I can but uh, so let's move on to the rest of the stuff this one here this is a uh, this is a very uh, personal item this is the first ever piece of merchandise I ever got that's Alf related and uh, it's a puppet a talking puppet uh, made I believe in the 15th anniversary of Alf back in 2002 uh, it says somewhere there on the tag. I don't know, but uh, uh, you know, uh, you, it's a talking puppet. You just stick your hand up his arse. And, uh, his tongue kind of has a little bit of uh, a sound chip in it, although for some reason or other, uh, I don't know why this is, but uh, it always utters uh, only one phrase. But uh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it only says here, cutty, cutty. Uh, don't know why this is, but uh, it had like six other phrases and such, but uh, I got that, I believe, for Christmas. So, uh, you know, is that just a... <laughs> No, no, I don't think it said that. I'm not sure, maybe, yeah. but uh, yeah, so there's that there, um, it doesn't work proper, but that's an alt talking puppet. Uh, this here, uh, it's broken, as you can see, this used to be a ceramic lamp, uh, I do have the lamp attachment, uh, it's someplace here, probably in my old closet that's all full of rubbish, and uh, it fell off. I had it on my desk for the longest time plugged in, and it fell off and uh, basically broke. So now I just have the base. But the lamp did work, you know, which is good. So there's that. Okay, this item here. Uh, this is a bit of a story. Uh, this is the ALF telephone uh, with the uh, phone attachment you could see there. Basically an ALF doll with a phone on it. You could see that there's actually two other phones, uh, you know, two phones on this thing. Uh, reason being, what got you into Alf in the first place as a childhood favorite or any specific reason? Okay, so uh, I had heard about Alf uh, through the internet, 
I believe uh, because back when I was in primary school, I was really into the Muppets, and uh, there was this uh, person who built a whole bunch of professional puppets and uh, did some impersonations of Muppets on YouTube. I believe his name is James Kemp, and uh, I saw one of his videos on impersonations, and he did somebody called Alf, and you know, he said, come on, Willie, let me eat the cat for once. I promise I'll never do it again. That was horrible. It really was horrible. I'm sorry. Mine was horrible. His wasn't. But uh, I kind of wondered who this character was. I kept him at the back of my mind. And then uh, in when I was about 11, maybe, I went to a garage sale with my mother and saw a mask of Alf. And then I said, who's this? And then Mum said, it's Alf, A-L-F. And I said, Alf. Now, I heard of this character before, so I had uh, decided to go on the old YouTube, type it up, and I saw an episode of him, and, I, and the rest is history. But yeah, and I've uh, been a fan ever since. But yeah, this elf phone, uh, you can see it's detached from there. Main reason, because uh, I tried to make it... W I bought this for $30. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It is a good looking house indeed. I bought this for $30. It was said to be working. I hooked it up. Didn't work. So I tried to uh, maybe attach another phone to it. And that worked, but uh, you can see it's kind of broken there. So now I'm just stuck with it, uh, with this other phone and such. And it's basically worthless now, so whatever. That's enough of that. Okay, these two elf dolls here. Uh, this is the second piece of elf merchandise I ever got. Uh, I got it at somebody's house uh, when we were cleaning out their house and such, and they had it, and I said, oh, it's an elf. And then she said, take it. So, yeah, this was one of the Coleco ones. I had the tag for it, but it uh, has since come off. <laughs> and then I got the second one here, which looks a little different. Its hair is a bit nicer. And I just got it, I guess, for free, however somebody gave it to me or other. So, okay, that's enough of them plushies. Uh, this here is one of four elf curtains I have. Uh, I have the other three in my closet, but I just decided to pull out one uh, just to show. And these are the sheets, uh, bedclothes of elf. Same design you could see there and such. And all that. Now, as you can see, there's not a whole lot here. That's nothing, basically, there. That's because the majority of my elf collection <coughs> is housed in these three drawers. So I shall go through all the drawers right now. So, first drawer, we open. Right away, we see here the 1988 Burger King uh, hand puppets. I have the complete set. Not, uh, I have the complete set, uh, most of which have tags, except for this one, the Born to Rock Elf. And I do not have the, uh, the records. Yeah, indeed, the legendary elf drawers. Actually, I had these in a box originally. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all my elf collection of box in my closet, and I decided, you know, I was going to make this video someday or other, so I put them in these drawers. But uh... Does it really? <laughs> okay, well, just to, to let you know, I have one, two, three, <laughs> four of those chef elves. Yeah. Basically, uh, just got these through collecting. People kept giving them to me. They didn't know I had them. So, yeah, we'll just get these out of here. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, okay, these are uh, some things. These, like, are elf comic magazines. I'll just take these over here. Uh, <laughs> It has no moustache. Yeah, that's a real common thing. The moustache would usually fall off and such. And 
Yeah. Anyway, these are Elf comic magazines, and I guess they were like little... I think they only made two of them, as far as I know. But they were like little things that, uh, you know, you'd find at your grocers and stuff. Basically like the Archie comics. But these are the ones re released by Marvel, you could see. There's even baby Flintstones in there, too. And, uh... You know, there's uh, all that. I do have some of the actual comics, which are right here. I have three of them. They're in very tattered shape. But there's issue... seven. Or, and you could see there... I find this kind of funny, because this used to be my brother's. Uh, he was painting a model car and needed something to paint on it. And you could see there, there's the paint from that car that got onto the comic book. And it's kind of funny because uh, you could see Alf sneezed all over Willy whilst he was painting. And he got paint all over him. So, yeah, there's that, you know. That's issue 7. This is issue 32. And Alf's looking all buff there. This is issue... 21. Oh, man. I, these are out of order slightly, but you could see there. Hmm? Issue 21. For the longest time, I had these tacked to my wall, but I realized that would decrease the value of them, so I took them off. But those are those comics there. One of the weirdest things I have is Alf Stationery. Uh, this is, I believe, from France. Uh, Brief Papier. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, and uh, you can see then there's his rump, his bum there. Uh, basically, it's just like uh, little envelopes and uh, paper with Alf on it that you just, uh, you know, write all your letters on and such. And, you know... I bought out somebody's collection, and that was in it, so that was good. Yeah, <laughs> he was. <laughs> and uh, this here, this is a strange little item here. Uh, Alf bonus and so I guess this is like a 3D sticker book. <laughs> yes, indeed. This was like a 3D sticker book or something or other. Or I don't know if it was stickers, but, you know... I guess you collect those stickers and such, and you put them in here, and the, these were the specs. Or no, those weren't the specs. I believe the specs were back at there. There they were, back there. You could see it's still white, <laughs> because that's where the things were. And you had this too. Wow. Interesting. Uh, basically, this... Uh, I could imagine. These, uh, I guess, are 3D little things that you'd move them, or that they'd move when you look at them. This is Alf and his family from the animated series. I haven't seen many episodes of it, but, you know, there's that. There, and then you see there's uh, everybody on the back. So... Uh, this here, let me put these puppets back. Yeah, there were two animated series. There was one main animated series just called, I guess, ALF, the animated ser series, and uh, ALF Tales, which is where he retold a whole bunch of classic fairy tales and such. Uh, back in the 80s, Saturday morning, and he was actually in uh, Cartoon All-Stars Come to the Rescue, about that one 80s thing where Bugs Bunny, Garfield, and everybody uh, tried to stop people from smoking weed or whatever. Anyway, this here... <laughs> yes, that's very funny. Uh... This is an ALF Super Cup made in Malaysia, I believe. And, uh, and it's got a very long straw for some reason. Uh, 
That's my cousin out there with his music. And uh, in, as you can see, inside of this, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not that much stuff, but uh, stuff I made. You could see that's like a laminated thing with ten. This was essentially an uh, anniversary of uh, ALF back in 96 when Project ALF came out in Germany. It came out in the cinemas because Germany really loves ALF and such, and that's a laminated card. I made these like little fan things. Uh, not back in the 90s, because I wasn't born in the 90s, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, those of them. I have a whole bunch of them, so you'll see a lot of these in this video. And then this here, this cute little thing. Yeah, it's funny too, because Germany also had like a theme park with gremlins and ALF. I have no idea why, which is funny because uh, I used to be called Stripan57 uh, before I started uploading to YouTube. Uh, and I used to like ALF too, so, uh, or I do like ALF, but yeah. This thing here is uh, made by Russ, little, I guess a clip-on or some rather. It does have articulation in the head. And, you know, they made a whole bunch of these. They made Garfield, Snoopy, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a bigger one of these that I have. Wait until you see that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they made a whole bunch of these and I, that's one of them. The elf and that, as I suffocate. <laughs> okay, this box here, this was the US of Elf super stickers. Basically, I did a whole unboxing of this when I didn't, when I never uploaded videos on YouTube. That video has since been lost, so I cannot upload it now. But uh, I had like a, there was like 50 packs in here of uh, little trading card sticker things. I have the complete set. And I'll show it here pretty soon. And this here, speaking of Alf Tales, uh, this is a semi-sealed uh, little thing from Wendy's. I have a couple of those. There's a set of six, I believe. I have three. Don't have the complete set. Ah, oh, damn. Which is a shame. Ugh. Pardon my very unkempt room. It's just that there's so much crap in here. So... Okay, this, this right here, this is an ALF bank. They just put ALF on anything, would they? Uh, made by Janix. Savings, no problem. It's basically ALF's head. Just as a bank. Uh, hard plastic, hollow. And uh, you put your, your loose change in there. And uh, I'm thinking about getting two of these because, uh, you know, one just to keep on the card and one actually to use. But uh, they're actually quite rare to come across on YouTube or YouTube <laughs> on eBay. Uh, this is the only one I've seen. So, yeah. And I believe the rarest item, I think, on eBay is the alarm clock. The Alpha alarm clock that I still need to get. So, this here is, was actually a snow globe from, I think this was Germany? Yeah, Bully. That's how you can tell if it was from Germany, if you had the Bully right there. Uh, this used to be a snow globe. Uh, you know, you'd have the thing in there, and then there's our figurine. German out, there's the cat. I don't know if that's lucky or not, but uh, one of those cats. And, you, you know, you just shake it around and the water would go and such. You can see there's a big old crack in it and there's no water inside of it. That is because I dropped it <laughs> uh, when I was moving around my collection and I was so pissed when that happened because I never found another one on eBay ever again. This is from that one guy's collection I bought out. So I haven't been able to find anything yet. I may cut that open and extract the figure so we'll see. This is a kind of a cute little thing. It's a little elf pencil sharpener, which you'll see uh, there's going to be uh, 
um, some elf pencils and a whole bunch of other elf school supplies as well. I can put here. You know, I'll just take these out first. And there's a box on there. It just says elf. Put that back in. These here, these are signs. I don't know really what they are. Hmm. Uh, those are signs uh, that, uh, are, I guess, you put them on your disc or something. Uh, you know, I have two of them here lighting up, and uh, this one, it's not easy being perfect. Only thing, you could see it's bound by tape. That's because I accidentally stepped on it, and it cracked a bit. So it cracked in half. So, that's that. I have no idea how many of these are made. But that's a thing. Okay. Now we're gonna... Put out this big box out of stuff. Uh, sitting on my glasses. Okay, so this uh, big box elf stuff is uh, just elf stuff, so we'll see what's inside of here. Yeah, a whole bunch of goodies. This here is a shampoo bottle. This is a very rare item. This was also in that collection I bought out. His head comes out, it's made of rubber. And if you untwist this thing, it's very hard to do with one hand, but if you untwist that, there's where the shampoo would have been. I don't know if there would be in there, but, <coughs> you know, that's that. Uh, there's another version of this that's more common. It was, it's from Germany, and it looks horrible. It doesn't even look like Elf. But this one looks more like Elf, and I've never seen any other like it. I actually do not know. Uh, I'm not sure if there even was shampoo in there, but... Oh! <laughs> it... <laughs> that does smell soapy, actually, so maybe there was, I don't know. Interesting. So, there's that. What else we got in here? Uh, Yeah, that'd be gross. <laughs> but uh, we have here some elf pencils, also made by Russ. You'll notice I have a whole lot of Russ items. Russ made a lot of items of elf. A uh, whole bunch of school supplies and that type of thing. Uh, these are two different pencils with little figures on top. You can see that there's, hey, no problem, on the red one, or the yellow one, or blue one. And there's, I'm a people alien, on the red one. As you can see, there's one figure of elf there. There's another figure of elf there. It's the paint scuffing just a bit, so I may need to get a new one, but uh, those are them. A uh, whole bunch of other of these, as I said, laminated stuff that I made. I'll show you those right now. You can see there's Alf's head. This is uh, an Alf card and uh, another head of Alf. Another elf there, and an elf S10. I don't even know if you say that, how to say that in German. I just said something random, and here, whatever. So, what else is in here? Um, oh, this here, this uh, season's greetings from elf. This is like a little, I think this was a poster that you'd assemble. And, uh... Or a punch out? I can't tell. Because there's perforation there. Or maybe it's a sticker? I don't know. I'm not going to test it out. Oh, it says peel here, so it must be a sticker. But, uh, you know, that's that's a thing. I put it out for Christmas, so that's good. This is that set of, uh, I have all, actually two sets of uh, the US of Alf cards, you know. Uh, I won't show them all, but, uh, you know, there's. Texas there. Uh, 
There's South Carolina. Oh yeah, it is. There's Idaho. And there's Massachusetts. And there's North Dakota. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he is. And uh, basically, you know, uh, they also, I don't have any of the top trading cards, which is, I suppose, the ones that are more sought after. But I do have these, which is neat. And they basically, you know, just show him in all the 50 states of the United States of America. So, just a whole bunch of little figures here. Let's see what kind of figures we got here. This is a German one, because it says bully someplace or other on here. Yeah, bully. And uh, there's another one that was bought out of that collection. And it's just him sitting in a chair with a bat, with a l lanyard, not lanyard, but sachet, sash. It says no problem. And uh, that's a thing. So, a whole bunch of other stuff. Some of those Wendy's items. Little Red Riding Elf standing on a wolf. I don't know if that's alive or dead. Hmm. Sleeping Beauty Elf, or whoever this is, or Romeo and J I don't know which elf this is, but uh, that's that. And this is a Latin elf, I think, on the magic carpet. I'm missing a couple others. I'm missing, I believe, the Royal Bricklayer, the Knight, and Robin Hood. Elf Latin. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. So, these here... I'm doing this through camera, looking through the cameras and doing this, and it's very dangerous, supposedly. But uh, these are keychains, half keychains. It's funny because uh, you could see these three designs here, these three poses, were all originally from a set of erasers. And I have the sets of erasers made by Russ, but they copied the designs for these keychains and just made them hard plastic. So there's one of Elf standing and waving. There's one of Elf sitting and waving. And there's just one of Elf sitting, I guess, slightly different and waving as well. Uh, hung these out as Christmas ornaments. You can see here, I made that. That's supposed to be Lucky the Cat. Uh, with uh, broom whisks for whiskers. And this is plasticine as well. But, you know. This is broken. This is supposed to be a finger puppet that I made of Elf, but it, it didn't come out proper. But you know. This isn't broken. This is like a little figure I made of him, which is nice there. And we're getting to the pins here. These Elf pins. I can get them all, that is. Ah, uh, hell. We're getting to that later. Uh, this is a set of elf pins. I believe I have them all here that I got off of eBay. And you can see them. There's Elf on the telephone, there's Elf in a suit, there's just Elf stopping up his ears, there's the face of Elf, there's Elf jamming out, there's Elf with Brian, and then there's Elf with the logo, so. I wore these pins, actually, on the 30th anniversary of Elf, and uh, nobody at my school knew except for my history teacher, and a whole bunch of other teachers, so. Yeah, a whole bunch of uncultured... Sons of bitches. Uh... This here, this means a lot to me. This was a, this is a, uncult, yeah, indeed. Uh, this is a uh, refrigerator magnet made out of plasticine made by my aide's son. And you see, it's a very nice likeness to him. I believe he molded it in one color and then painted it. 
I actually did stick this on the fridge at one point or other, but uh, it's really nice. So put all this crap back in here. I shouldn't say that's not crap, but I just got too much of it. And then, hold on, don't want to break it. And then, ooh. And so that's the first drawer. Of my off collection. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> drawer one of 10 million. Uh, this is drawer number two. And as you can see, it seems as though there's less in here. That's because... Wait till we get to that. Uh, this here, this is a strange little item. You could see he's got suction cups on him, uh, on his hands and such. This was a Pizza Hut promotional item back in the 80s. Of course, Alf was back in the 80s. I should stop saying back in the 80s, but anyway. Uh, you'd buy a, a pizza for like five bucks, and then you'd get one of these for free. And uh, it's basically like a Garfield stuck on you, except for Al except it's Alf, which is neat. So, there's that there. This is that bigger one, <sighs> that bigger clip-on from Russ of the cutest Alf ever. His hair's a bit more wild and uh, you could see here yeah it wants to hug you or something and then his head barely moves and I don't want to break it so this is felt actually or something it's flocked this nose of his this schnarls but uh, This here's a pencil case, as you could, as I said, I have a whole bunch of uh, uh, school supplies. But this pencil case here, you can catch them rays. Made in Hong Kong. And then you could open this. What's in here? Oh, uh, just uh, some of the other U.S. of Alf things and uh, a cat. From a quarter machine that, that I just use as a like a little little thing for for that, and this thing here, this little thing here, is a pinball game from Argentina. TV pinball, you could see there. Uh, it's mint in the package. I don't plan on taking it out, but you basically, it's. It's a pinball game, you know how it works. You know, you just, uh, you know, you put that, you flick that thing in the ball, but you try to get it into, uh, like, see there, there's two points. There's 20 points, you know. Uh, it's real simple. They just put Alf on it to make money, so. This here, this is the ALF watch. What time is it? No problem. Made by, oh, who made this? Uh, Nelsonic, that's who made it. See, there's him with the family, the Tanner family, whom I don't put in high regard, and I'll tell the reason for that if anybody asks, so. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting two of these things. Uh, but uh, essentially, it's just a regular watch uh, that you put on your hand, a digital watch, and, uh, you know, you lift this little uh, elf up, and it's held down by Velcro, and you'd see the time, so. That's a thing. Why do I hate the Tanners? Uh, because they abuse elf so 
much. Really, he doesn't deserve it. And that's why Series 4 is my least favorite uh, stage in the series. Because uh, every episode, practically, he gets down, talked to, and such. And that episode where he tries to be a comic and he just really fails at it, that is really just the most horrid shit I've ever seen happen to a character. I mean, I wanted to, like, reach out to the television and strangle whoever was responsible for writing that. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, it, basically, uh, they I don't... <laughs> you can see how cute he is there. I don't like when cute gets abused, so that's why I hate the Tanners. I mean, not that the... You know, I mean, they're, they're fine. But, you know, uh, I do have that sacred, you know, spike towards them. This here is a wacky wobbler bobblehead from Funko. Yes, the same people who make the pops. Whisker for your thoughts. I mean, people are making, and there's a blurb on the back there. I'm surprised, actually, hey, no problem, they have not made a Funko pop of ALF. I'm gonna try... Dear, I don't know what that was. Uh, I'm gonna try and maybe get a petition to see whether they'd make a Funko Pop of Elf. I, they better. Because if they made that, this was back in 2002, they sure as hell can make a Funko Pop of him. Let me tell you. This here is the Elf toothbrush and stand. Also made by Janex, same company who made the bank. Brushing is no problem. You could see there, it costs $9.99 at a big lots back in the day. I got it for more than that. But, you know, basically it's just an electric toothbrush that you charge, I suppose, there. Or you put batteries in it. I don't really know. And then Alf would just hold it for you on this stand. And... <sighs> money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Money. And this here. This skinny looking thing is a fan-made elf plush that I made. You could see he's got tassel for hair and uh, sewn in eyes and sharpie for details. He's very thin. I didn't really do that good of a job, but you know, it's fine. I keep him though, for safekeeping. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this here. Lunchbox. <laughs> and I'm sweating already because I'm just going through my house. This lunchbox here. Uh, there were two of these. There was this one, which is actually, I guess, le least less popular. You know, just of him, the picture of him near the radio and such. And there was another one where he was hand-drawn and had a whole bunch of uh, food around him. Tried to get that one, but it's a bit too rare. It's not rare, it's just in high demand. And it's made by Thermos. And if we open it, we have a whole bunch of little elf figures in here. Uh, I believe it. there were two versions of it. There was a yellow one, and there was one that was multicolored. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I got some stuff in the thermos. That's what it looks like. And then uh, you can see there's plenty of stuff there. So we'll check and see what's in the thermos first. You can see that's where you drink from it. And then... Oh, this is just uh, little figures I made. You can see I made a lot of uh, figures of Elf because I just wanted to expand my collection. So there's one. There's some others. There's some, some of these are better than others. This one was for a board game I wanted to make. Turns out there's actually a real Elf board game. I'm yet to get my hands on it, but... Uh, one of these days. This one, he's colored weird. 
that one too. Oh, they're made of plasticine clay. Uh, Sculpey, actually. And uh, some of them are broken, you could see. But, you know, I still like them. This one here, you know, he's holding on to the cat, as usual. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> but that's that. Basically what you do, oh, I forgot one. What you do is you mold them first, and then you put them in the oven for about 15 minutes per square inch on 275 or 175 heat. I think it's 275 heat. And then cook them for 15 minutes. That way they'll harden, and you'll have little elves uh, to add your collection. <coughs> See, there's a whole bunch of sculpted elves here. Don't know what he's doing there. It's like Breakfast Club or something. I don't know. Uh, this here is strange. You can see he's got a big old mouth. That's because uh, this cat here, this really unfortunate cat, <laughs> yeah, he gets it. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. Stuff that I made. Oh, I like that one. And, uh, okay. That's my favorite. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But these here. You can see these look somewhat familiar. That is because they are the erasers made by Ross, uh, which uh, were the inspiration for. Uh, yes, these are erasers because they're soft rubber. I'm never. I'm not going to test them because that would decrease the value. I know I'm a, sound like a nerd here, but that would. And uh, I got three of these sitting outs for some reason. I don't know. But these were very famous, and they inspired a whole bunch of other figures that were made in this style. There are two versions you can see. There's a, slight, there's a one that's lighter skin color and fur. There's one that's darker. I don't know whether the rarity of that, uh, of those... I don't know whether one is more rare than the other, but, you know, it's that. Let's put the thermos in here. Oh, I dropped one. Uh, I'm going to look for it all week. Ah, there it is. And talk about this, this little thing right here. This thing is... I'm going to get to that right now. Uh, this big elf... Uh, this is a, uh, a German figure, a dress-up doll, actually. Uh, they made a whole bunch of these. You can see it's held together by Velcro, and it's a flocked figure underneath. Uh, they made a whole bunch of these. They made them wearing, like, Hawaiian shirts. They made them in scuba gear, and they made them a whole bunch of other outfits. You can see this one here is uh, in a superhero outfit. And he does have articulation. You could, or at least you could. I did. I was able to move his head, but not anymore. You can move his arms and then his legs, too. Kind of. I don't know. This stuff gets stiff after a while, but uh, I like it. It kind of reminds me of uh, when Palisades... I have no idea why. I, have no, I don't know. But I got an apple now. I took a very bit of my life, but... I don't know why the Germans have elves so much, but... 
I like this one. It reminds me of the Gonzo the Great figure that Palisades did when they did their Muppet line back in the early 2000s. Mother, did I bite my tongue or lip or what? I did. See, there's blood. Well, son of a bitch. Anyway. Luckily, the mouth is the fastest healing part of the body, so... Good see, I really did bite myself. So that'll be gone in an hour. Okay. These here are Alf's slippers. Very tiny things. They hardly fit my hand. At the okay, one more look at the long elf. There he is, in full makeup. There. Now you never have to see him again. But these are elf slippers. The bleeding is uh, stopping slightly. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, these are elf slippers. And, uh, I believe a child would wear these. And, you know, they got elf heads on them. I think these are made by Russ, too. Russ made a lot of elf items, too. Not just stationery, but this stuff, too. <laughs> sure. In fact, uh, I'll let you maybe have a photograph of him right now. So, uh, if you want, uh, I'll give him, you can have a snapshot right now. Okay? You got it? Alright. So, uh, slippers there, lunchbox, that's that. <sighs> Goodbye, Long Elf. Now we get on to this third and final drawer. Although this is not the end of my elf collection, because I do have more stuff. You were wondering where the DVDs were, weren't you? I know you were. Yeah, the blood is, uh, it's not good. But, uh, these are probably what you're familiar with. Which is the, uh, the American Did your skin Alf and st did you skin Alf and stuff him? No, I didn't skin Alf and stuff him in a drawer. I'm getting to that. <laughs> uh, I get sued for that. But anyway, uh, this is what you may know. These are the American Lion Gaze for Elite DVDs. Yeah, I know it looks like it, but, but don't worry. He'll get. I'll, I'm getting to that. Uh, rip. <laughs> but uh, uh, these are the American Alf DVDs released by Lionsgate. Season 1, 2, 3... And four, which has the slip cover for some reason. I don't know why the rest don't, but they do. I don't know if you know this. I'm almost afraid to bite into this because I bit my lip. But for those of you that don't know this, if you buy these. Uh, you will find that each episode is 20 to 21 minutes long. That is because they ripped episodes from, like, reruns and syndication on television, where they had to cut out bits in order to fill in more time for advertisement, and they put them on these DVDs. So basically you get the bare-bones editions of ALF, and, uh, you know, you get missing content. But, thanks to Rambo Raff for Life, I recommend you check out his channel. He's uh, hilarious. I got these. These are, once again, we bring Germany back into the picture. This is uh, the German series. It's one, two, three, and four. If you buy these from Germany, they will have... 
<laughs> well, uh, I don't know about that. I have no idea about Alf's feeling of the Jews, but uh, mm. uh, if you buy these, you will see that each episode is 24 to 25 minutes long. That is because uh, all the missing minutes and such are on here. All the episodes in their former glory are put on there in perfect quality. Lionsgate said that they couldn't because they had uh, quality issues and such, and uh, you know they couldn't put them on there because of that. These, they work just fine. And also because that if you have a region-free player, yes, they are free. Uh, and uh, well, I have a region-free player, and uh, basically, even though they are German, you know, you could see them in perfect English, and so, and, uh, I'd recommend buying them from Amazon.uk, and then typing in Alf, and then you get the thing there, and, uh, you know, it'll take you a while, but, uh, it'll be worth it in the end. And you could really see the difference, uh, between those and that. Okay, now for the skinned Alf, what you've all been waiting for. Okay, so what is this? Uh, these, I got two of them you can see there. Yeah, they really do. Uh, uh, this is uh, the Texas Health Mexico. This is actually a ALF inflatable doll. Wait, is this true? Was he really affiliated with the Nazis? How so? If you know this, then I'd like to know. Somebody tell me. But anyway, this is uh, an ALF inflatable doll. I got two of them. Okay, good. I was getting worried there. Uh, but uh, you can see there, there's two of them. This is an ALF inflatable doll that you blow up. And uh, there's the thing right there. Uh, you could see that uh, it is torn. So when I do try and blow this up, the air just seeps out slowly over time. And I tried repairing it. Doesn't work. But, uh, you know, what? It, it basically is like a three-foot-high ALF. It's life-size, practically, sitting down and such. And... <laughs> blown up it looks pretty impressive and there's even a little tuft of hair right there i don't know if i'm gonna blow it up right now not on camera i don't think because uh i need to get through all this stuff <laughs> well if you find one of these luckily you can <laughs> anyway uh i have two of them so i don't know we'll see what happens i guess uh uh, okay, let's stuff that back in there. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, it is. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of what's in the drawers. But this is not the end of the collection because, lo and behold, I have some more stuff. There's a little picture of Alf right there, you know, a print of him, which is, uh, you know, that's signed, or not really signed, but, you know, it was there. Uh, there's a picture there, right next to Lovecraft, <sighs> and Mystery Science Theater 3000, but, uh, you know, that's that picture there. This one here you've seen, this picture. Yeah, my brother got that for me at Comic-Con uh, by, I guess his name is Justin Cho or Chow or somebody or other. But yeah, this here is, uh, my brother got this for me too. This is an autographed elf picture. I know, <laughs> that really would be interesting. I bet you one of us, one of these days, will write a Lovecraftian elf tale, indeed. But, uh... 
this is a autographed, uh, just from like an autograph website, uh, a picture of Paul Fusco, who's right there, or Fusco, I never know how to pronounce it. The creator and voice of Alf and Alf there, see, best, Paul Fusco and Alf. And, uh, have this on my desk for the longest time. Until it was filled up with a whole bunch of rubbish, but, uh, you know, that's that. All right, we're nearing the end here, but uh, excuse all the rubbish, but uh, stuff I need to sell on eBay and all that type of thing. Apple out of the way. This here, I suppose, is like weird husk people. Oh, yes, yeah, you just saw weird, uh, yeah. Uh huh. I gotta sell those on eBay. Somebody gave them to me to sell. I'm making, I'm hopefully gonna make money on them. I listed them and, uh, yeah, I'll suck them dry. Uh, well, hey, uh, I don't know if you've seen that one episode where basically it's, he eats because he's in depression, but it sounds like he's like suckling or something or other and like, I don't know, opening up the pits of hell. He's trying to refill his skin with <laughs> Yeah, but this, <laughs> yeah, this is a, uh, like, what is this? A bowl creeper? This is like a. Some from the ALF fan club. Yes, they had an ALF fan club. This is all this paraphernalia that you get if you were to join said fan club. And I will show you what you would receive had you joined it. I don't know if any of you joined it. I didn't join it. As far as I'm concerned, I've started a new one. Is there anything else in there? No. But uh, here's what you would receive. It says here, you would get, join the ALF fan club and receive six giant stickers, full color... Locker poster of Alf, full color book cover, Alf's picture button. <laughs> Man, all this Nazi stuff. All farm band included. Really? There was an Alf farm band? I had no idea. And all this other stuff. Basically, you'd send away for this. And Oh, oh yes, and this here. This is an autographed picture. Yo, thanks for being a fan. Love your pal Alf with a paw print there that's all black and white and this is uh, some other stuff Let's see what this is oh yes this is uh, I think it's like a folder or something where you would put all your elf stuff uh, you could see oh yeah portfolio right there this is the cover for that and here's your business card or your membership card for being an elf club is an official member and pal of the old Alpha, whoever that may be. But uh, that's a thing there. And then this is, I guess, the certificate of membership. I, whoever you are, am a member of the Alf fan club until Alf personally tells me that I am not. I agree to follow the rules of membership, which are basically to try to lighten up, get more of a kick out of life, and be nice to other people while pointing out their faults. I also try to limit my cat intake to six a day. <laughs> and you could see there, there's uh, operation optional for vegetarians and humans. Un I don't know who that is. Is that Uncle Albert? Present Uncle... What the hell? I don't know who that is. But that, whoever that is is the president, and there's Alf there. But that's a certificate of membership, and this here, the little letter, uh, February 25th, Adolf Eichmann, <laughs> a whole bunch of Nazi stuff on this ALF thing, but this is, uh, like, I guess a letter, okay, dear ALF licensee, enclosed, please find material 
uh, relating to the Elf fan club, the Fizz fan club, with very little publicity, has already generated thousands of members. We think that if the fan that the fan club offers numerous opportunities to license in the way of promotions, mailings, and even as an outlet for your product. Furthermore, having Elf fan club solicitation on your packing packaging may add a valuable incentive to the consumer. Please review the enclosed materials and consider including an offer as part of your packaging. If you would like to learn more about the Elf Fan Club or if you feel that your product, oh man, this is an hour already, wow, can be sold through this means of distribution, please contact Matt Avalon at 213-204-2040 or myself at 213-202-4267. Sincerely, Sydney A. Kaufman, Vice President Leisure Concepts Incorporated at Lorimer Temp Pictures, and then uh, all those other people there. So, what else is here? Oh, this is, uh, yeah, Kaufman. This is, I guess, what also is included there. I'm trying to see. There was something else. Where did you get this? Uh, as I said, I bought out somebody's collection. This was in it. And uh, I got it. This is the biography of Alf. So you can read that if you want. If there's, you know, when this video comes out uh, to the channel, you could pause that and read it. Yeah, the Flem 220. <laughs> I remember that. And I think there was something else in here. Ah, yes. I knew there was something else in here. Huh. This here. This is Shea Melmac. The finest in Melmacian dining. Yeah, I think he's 250 now. Or something like that. But this is like a... A menu of different items that would supposedly be on, I guess, in uh, a diner in Melmac or a bistro in Melmac or something. You could see it's all cat related. Rhonda, that's her name. But I do not, as far as I know, I mean, in terms of the animated series, I haven't seen them all, but they never really got together. It's like, yeah. That's it, Rhonda. They never really got together, just like me and, uh, yes, longer, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that, but uh, you could see, that's that menu there, and, uh, there's all that stuff, I think, that's all the stuff that's in that fan club thing, if I can get it back in there, I'm going to have a hell of a time trying to get it back in there with one hand, so, I'm going to try and do it. You know what, I'm just going to hold this here, uh, right there, and uh, get that apple. So, what is it? I'm going to, okay, let's see if I can do this, put this all back in here. I use anything as a tripod. An apple. <laughs> you know. Anyway, that's the fan club stuff. And now Yes. One was, uh, I believe it was the one, the silent film episode. I, I can't remember it that well, but yes, uh, it was like a silent film or something in the format of Casablanca and Alf. And so, uh, it was a season three episode. 
It was actually, I think, one of my favorites, actually. But, uh, you know. Anyway, now is it a piece de resistance. It's a big item here. If I can get it. Oh, God. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know. But you could see here, this is Talkin' Alf, the storytelling alien. <sighs> Meant in the package. This is the one that came with the cassette tapes and the stories. This is the one that read out the stories. Basically a Teddy Ruxpin, except he's Alf. Uh, in the box there, I've included four of my favorite stories. Mouth and ears and brows move as I talk. I could play other standard cassettes too. I sound just like the real Alf. I hear people say that they like put whatever it is, Motley Crue and such in there. Yes, it is. Uh, it actually took me a long time to get this. I got it for Christmas two years ago. And I've been wanting it. So, uh, I have it now. I cannot show it off because I, I don't want to ruin the box or anything, but, uh, you, you know how it works, basically. You just get the, you know, there's all the instructions back there. Kind of neat little graphics. I feel a little not so, says the cat. You're gonna eat, get eat. Yeah. <laughs> There's the big old box, you see. And I don't know if you can tell this, but uh, the plush pictured in those, uh, you know, those little pictures there with the children, th that's not the plush you see in the box. That's actually one of those Coleco plushes. Don't know why that is, but uh, maybe they didn't make it yet. <laughs> this includes... Let's see. Uh, what stories this includes? This includes, I guess, what is it called? Beauty and the Old. Okay, it includes uh, Little Red Riding Elf, uh, Beauty and the Old Alpha, or in the Alpha, uh, Cinder Elf, and uh, the Cat with No Name. And it even says, Join the Alpha Club. I've heard all these stories before, actually, on YouTube. You can see that, because people have done reviews of this and such, and I don't know if I'll ever do one, but uh, we'll see. So, yeah. That, basically, is my ALF collection uh, in full. I hope you enjoyed it very much, and... Uh, I'm very thankful that a that uh, Ahab and Guntik, you know, join me along on this journey. Yeah, thanks. I'm sure it did. I may do another stream sometime or other about what I don't know, but we'll see. And uh, I'm surprised neither of you. Uh, have made a, you know, an ALF, you know, anything related to ALF for video, uh, because, you know, you, I'd imagine you're both child of the 80s, I'm not, but, you know, I, I got into it recently, and, uh, maybe you ought to do something or other in that vein. Just a suggestion, you don't have to, but, uh, anyway, that's it, and, uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. Does <laughs> he? Huh. That's strange. Anyway, uh, so that's about it, and I'll see you here. <laughs> yeah, you are. So, before I cut this off, I want to know one thing. I know Goontick is the Goontick com com communicating on this thing. But the one who's ten dollar slimer is that Ahab? Because I can never tell. Because whenever you leave comments on my video, it sounds like Ahab speaking, and then you know on another comment it 
there's it's not good and okay good as they have all right anyway that's it hope you enjoyed it and uh i have no idea how to end this stream uh there's a little x in the corner here thank you there's a little x in the corner here i think uh sound dumb or me oh okay that sounds uh good okay anyway i guess i'll end this stream here and uh thank you and good night